They have all three at this Target. Dang, I should have come here because uh, I was struggling to find these, but look at it. Okay, I'm gonna grab a Venus and we'll be good to go. Hi there, my name is Eli and welcome back to my channel, Jackie Elijah. And in today's video, I am excited as usual because I have three brand new Monster High dolls to unbox and review. I picked these up at Target just today for $30 each. These are the new Monster High Skultimate Secrets Garden Mysteries. Now this is series five. We are already five series in to Skultimate Secrets and they are some of my favorite, favorite dolls. As you know, as much as I do have some issues with them, like these big clunky lockers, I mean, I still keep coming back to them because the dolls themselves, the fashion itself is so gorgeous that it always pulls me in, okay? Like I can't help it. These are always my favorites and I always anticipate them the most. And this series is no exception. I think these are gorgeous, gorgeous dolls. I will admit I already kind of peeped the packaging open so I can pull them out and like take a look because I always like to, you know, see what the faces look like to see if I get a good screening. That is one downside to these dolls is that they are in these like, you know, kind of like plastic, is this a locker? What do you, what do you call this? Like a gate almost? Uh, you can kind of see Twyla peeking through, but like you can't really see her all too well, right? So I just like snip open the sides when I get in the car and pull her out to see if they look good. And luckily all three of my dolls look gorgeous. I feel like this might be a hunch, like I'm not speaking you know, this isn't like a fact, but I wonder if because these dolls have a mystery gimmick that they are a little bit more, I don't know, scrupulous with the QC because, you know, it sucks if you like are buying a mystery packaged doll and then like it's wonky or has a bad screening. And I don't know, I kind of have good luck with Skultimate Secrets. So maybe they put extra attention and care into making sure that these spaces are good because of the nature of the packaging. They want to prevent, you know, returns and things like that. I don't know, maybe Monster IQC is just getting better. That could be it too. But we have three dolls in this series. We have Twyla, as well as Draculaur and Venus. And I'm excited for all three, I have to say. I'm probably most excited for Draculaura because I just think she looks so unique. But honestly, all three of them really, really slay. This is our second Venus doll in Generation 3, which is awesome. And then Twyla seems to be like the new It Girl at Monster High. She seems to be really popular and she gets a lot of dolls as of late, which I mean, I'm not complaining. I love Twyla. So as much as I wish this series was a little bit bigger and we had a fourth or a fifth doll, I am content with the three that we did get. You know, I can't be too greedy. Like I, I just want more because I'm a collector and I love, I love Monster High. I love these characters. I love their dolls, but three is more than enough for me. So how I'm gonna do this is I'm gonna unbox all three of them one at a time. We'll take a look at their accessories and then I'll dress them up and we'll get the video going. So let's get started. So let's start off with Twyla because she is front and center. So I just snipped the sides of this box right here and you can kind of unfold these tabs and it easily slides out like this. I say easy and then I'm like struggling, of course, right? It's getting stuck at the top. Okay, cool. And you can keep this. I usually like to like snip the artwork because it's so pretty. Um, some people I know will like put it back on for display purposes after they unbox them. It's up to you. You know, the holographic packaging is nice, but I'm gonna set it aside for now. And then here we have the packaging. We have some instructions taped to the front as well as the little key taped to the side for the reveal gimmick. And let's go ahead and take those pieces off. Okay, here are the instructions that you get. Kind of explains the reveal process to you. I always like seeing the artwork they show for the characters. It shows you the contents and I've mentioned this in the past, but I think this is pretty handy. They're still kind of like darkened out with the silhouette. So you're not spoiled with what pieces you're getting, but this is helpful if you are ever nervous that you're missing pieces. Like when you open a bag, you can keep count. Like, did I get everything that I should be getting? And then I think maybe these pieces with like the, you know, like dashed lines, I think that might imply that the package might be in like a plastic bag. I'm not sure. But yeah, this is a good idea for you to keep track of your piece count if you are so curious. And on the back, it tells you the reveal gimmick. This is literally the gimmick. You take this key, and you see the pieces that you need to find. It's it's kind of a flop because the printing is so dark, like you don't need the key to see the image. Like that's the idea behind it, but like you, you can already just like see the image. So, you know, it could have been a little more well thought through than it currently is. But I don't mind, you know, I'm not I'm not a kid. I'm not here for like this reveal gimmick. It's cool that it's built into this and it's meant to be like this fun play aspect, but um, yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna start opening things up. So 
here we'll start on the left side. I do like these coffins too, or these like gates. I don't know what to call them. The color on them is so bright and vivid. Okay, so we have some packages on the side. Very fun packaging. It's very wispy for Twyla's theme. Let's start to see what accessories she comes with. So you're supposed to follow this process because you are basically building like the lever to lift her up out. You could easily just pull her out without building this whole little reveal gimmick, but we're just gonna follow along for the first time and then probably for Dracula and Venus, we'll just kind of like go a little bit quicker. So she gets some um, little teacup with like a wispy little plant coming through. It's nice, I like it. I love these accessories. I love the like garden tea party theme. It's just so fun. And then, we have some hangers. Like there's like a, this doubles as like a closet for you to like hang some clothes. So it's meant to, you know, have some life beyond just being packaging. I like that, but like, I don't really use it as a closet in my collection. See, here's this little like a, uh, I don't know, thing right here. I don't know what to call that. And you can stick it in here and oops, if you don't drop it. And then it's supposed to double as a closet. So if you're like wondering what is that, that's what it is. And then you can put those hangers in there, hang up some extra clothes of yours. I usually don't have extra clothes because I dress up a second doll wearing like the second outfit. And then here you also get a little stand clip. This is meant to attach to the locker. So then this packaging can also double as a doll stand. It's a good idea. Once again, I don't use it because I just rather put my doll on a doll stand. Like I don't want them displayed in front of this like mechanism here, but I like that they're trying to innovate and make sure that this packaging is, you know, going the extra mile and not just gonna be ending up in a landfill. I mean, I'm sure some will inevitably end up in a landfill, but it's still trying to be creative. So I'll, I'll give them that. Would I prefer a separate standalone doll stand? Of course, but you know, that's cool too, I guess. And that's the first one. Now onto the second one. Let's see. We have, okay, and a lot of things here. We have another piece of this. So I think this like goes in like that. And you just kind of wait for a, a click. There you go. Okay, we're missing one more piece for the lever. And then we have a little tray. I'm sure there's something that should go on this tray. Okay, I have a, a cookie. Oh my God, it's like a little, it's a little bunny ghost. Oh, this is so cute. Oh, I love this. And I love when they come with little loops so they can actually hold it. I hate an accessory that the dolls can't easily hold. And okay, this is amazing. I was right, it does come in a little plastic bag, but it's this little like spooky gingerbread house. You're, you're kidding, okay. And then there's little um, like holes there so it can stick in. Yeah, top tier accessory. This is amazing. Wow, what is that for? There's another one in the bag. I don't know what that's for, but look how nice that is with the printed details. This is so cool. Yeah, this is an amazing accessory. Twyla always just gets like the best accessories, I swear. Okay, I think that's everything in the second bag. On to the next side. Okay, let's see. Okay, we'll start at the top. This one is big. I'm guessing it's a lot of like fashion pieces. We shall see. Okay, it is, oh, this piece for all three of the dolls is one of the best. It's kind of like a mesh top with metallic foiling and Twyla's metallic foils are kind of these like wispy designs, kind of like her dream smoke that she does for her little boogeyman powers. And this piece is amazing. I, I love this piece, it's so good. Okay, next up we have a skirt. This as well is like a plush velvet. It's kind of meant to evoke like that crushed velvet texture, but you know, it's more like a real velvet for the doll scale and with a little bow. Yeah, and it's a full Velcro in the back. I love this piece. For all three of the dolls, they all come with a similar piece and oh, it's amazing. It's so good. This color is so vivid. Like I love, love, love this teal blue color. Okay, we also get another top with some lace and it's kind of meant to evoke maybe like silk or satin with some like black spaghetti straps very shiny full velcro closure in the back as well now the designer for these dolls annalise lau posted on her instagram which i love when designers post like behind the scenes info that the velcro for these dolls are a little wider 
because it's meant to allow for like layering between the pieces so they can all fit nice on the doll. I thought that was such a cool detail that I myself would probably not have known if she didn't post it on Instagram. So thank you, Annalise. I really appreciate that insight. It's always so fun to learn more about the design process for these dolls. And then lastly, we have some shoes. They're in a little plastic bag. Oh, these are cool. Okay, let's see. Twyla has these like almost like spider web shoes. Don't they like silhouettes kind of look like uh, webs almost? And then the heel has like a little web with like a bed bug. Oh my gosh, these are very cool. I love the shape of them. They're very unique. And then the bottom is kind of like a, a wood grain texture. Very cool. And just a little bit of paint detail on the lace. I'll, I appreciate it. A little paint detail goes a long way. These are cool. I will say, I love Sculptimate Secrets because they usually have like a really nice shoes that are typically like boots. Like one is like a boot and then the other one's maybe like a shorter like heel or boot or something. But the shoes here are not, like they're not giving you a big boot silhouette, which is fine. They're kind of switching it up a little bit, but these are nice. I like them. They're really cool. Okay, next little compartment. I think that was everything. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. We have the final piece to our little lever mechanism. This looks like it clips in right here. Let's hear for the click. Yep, it's a little flower with like a lips and fangs, very cute. These are nice. These are really nicely molded and sculpted. And then these you can kind of like squish it in here. There's a little entry right there. Um, I'm struggling, I'm gonna do it off camera. Okay. I managed to stick it in. There was a clicking sound as well, so it's like nice and snug. But before we reveal Twyla, let me finish showing you everything she comes with. So her last little bag is a purse. Yeah, look at that purse. It's like a little house with like a door that's locked, little bunny ears. The handles are really, really cool. It's only printed on one side. And then the other side has kind of like more smoky wisps, a chain and a bed bug. And it actually, it looks like it opens up. I was not expecting it to open, but it does. And inside there's more sculpting with like a little zipper and like some brick texture and a little pocket on this side. Amazing. The fact that four different surfaces were sculpted for this bag is so cool. They didn't have to go give us all that detail, but they did. Yeah, love, 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 gorgeous. And then, we have some like smaller little pieces. Oh, there's one more earring, it's just like stuck, okay. We have her earrings. They are like translucent flowers. Very cool, very, very pretty. I love, love, love these earrings. And then lastly are some tongs for, I assume like, I don't know, the cookies or the tea or something, the gingerbread house maybe. It's fine, it's just a little pair of tongs. But that is everything that comes in these pouches. Now let's reveal the doll. So this is the main reveal surprise gimmick. I'm gonna like do it so we can actually see her pop out. Okay, you guys, you guys ready? I'm gonna move this up and you're gonna see her. Oh, she's stuck. Look at the plastic stuck. Ugh. Okay, one, two, three. There she is, okay. That's the gimmick. She rises out of the little gate and there she is. Let's see her face. Yeah, I think best Twyla face. Like they've perfected Twyla. Like, do you see the screening? The colors with the brow and the lips and the makeup, like it is so haunting and so captivating. Even the little butterflies. It's kind of funny. I showed my partner her because I was showing him the screenings I got. He's like, well, why does she have butterflies on her face? I'm like, it's, it's garden themed, okay? That's why she has butterflies but it's so cute. It's very um, trendy. Like butterflies seem to always be in. Like when I think butterfly, I think Olivia Rodrigo now, which I guess is good for her branding and purple too. She's kind of cornered that market of like purple plus butterflies. So she's very Olivia Rodrigo coded, which is probably not a mistake. I'm sure the designers know what's trendy and are, you know, are trying to push those ideas forward. So very cool. This doll is just oh, so gorgeous. Okay, I'm gonna take her out of the packaging and put her on a doll stand. I'll be back in one second. Okay, Twyla is unboxed, but before I show you what she comes with out of the packaging, she does come with this little like plastic piece that is meant to go back here. You can like stick it in this little hole right here. And 
it's meant to hold your doll in. So if you want to put her back in there and store her and open her up again and lift her, it's kind of meant to keep her there so she doesn't come tumbling out. It's kind of weird. Uh, I mean, it's sculpted, you know, there's like a unique sculpting on it, I guess, uh, with a little skullette and it's a nice purple pink translucent plastic. It's just kind of a weird little extra piece, but yeah, I want to explain that because I feel like a lot of people get confused on like what this is or what this does. Yeah, it just sticks in there and you can slide that back down and you are good to go. And like I said, you can use this for a doll stand. I am not today. I just gave her a cheap little doll stand I get off of like Amazon. There it is. And this is what she comes wearing out of her gate coffin plastic reveal gimmick thing. I don't know what to call it, but here she is. There's her face, her hair, and then the pieces she comes wearing already are this little like plastic corset and this nice little dress. I love the print on this dress. And the fun thing about these prints is they're going to be unique for every doll. So this is what my dress looks like because that's how my fabric was cut. But your dress might look a little bit different. So yeah, on the back too. I really like things like that because it just makes things feel more unique and special. You know, it's kind of minor, but I like to explain that process because it's something that I look forward to. Like, ooh, how does, how does my dress look, you know? And then she comes with some socks and some shoes. Now, I'm gonna get into it, but these socks are not my favorite. They're not like a real sock. You see that? They don't go all the way. They're kind of like a fake sock. And when they came out of the box, they were actually like this on her. <laughs> they were they they were like that, which is not how they're meant to be displayed. So I try to pull it back down like that, um, but like it doesn't really work that well. So these aren't my favorite, and her stand just fell off too. I'll fix that later. And there are her shoes that she comes with. Really cool. I like the heel is like a stack of books, and then it's hard to see, but there's like some bugs I think right here around the perimeter of her shoe. And on the bottom, there's like a lock, like a, like a, you know, like a key, like a lock. They're cool. They're a purple color, minimal paint details just on the heel, but they're fun. I like them. I even like there's like a quilted texture on the heel. Pretty fun. And Twyla has her unique monster features as usual. Her little smoky wisps on her legs, on her hands, the little spider webs in her ears. I do wonder if her eyes glow in the dark. I have a feeling they don't, but I'm just curious, you know? And now let me put her back on the stand and we'll take a look at the other dolls. Okay, I have set Twyla aside and before I dress them all up and go over their hair, their makeup, etc., I wanna get the rest of them opened. So let's start with Draculaura. So same deal with Draculaura. She comes with the key, here is hers. I like the sculpting on these with like the roses, it's very pretty. And here is her instruction sheet. Same kind of deal. There's the gimmick. And you can see what you need to find. We already did it before. So I'm not gonna like show you that whole process as, you know, intently. I'm just gonna kind of go open her bags and go over her pieces real quick. So let's get started. I love her coffin. Her coffin might be my favorite. I just think pink and red, like the color combo is so good. Okay, first pouch. We have her little accessory, her little piece. She comes with a little teacup with some little plant-like wispies coming out. There's a little heart in the smoke. It's very cute. Actually, I think this is meant to evoke like smoke. I can't tell. Yeah, I think it's just meant to be like, maybe steam, I guess is the right term, if it's like a cup of tea. But yeah, hers is adorable. I love the batwing handle. The sculpted detail is gorgeous. Love that piece. Same thing, some hangers and a stand for her locker. Bada bing, bada boom. On to the next one. I'm more concerned with like the fashion, you know, there's a lot of pieces you get that are kind of consistent across all of them. Once again, there's her little lever clip. And in this bag, we get her bag. Let's see. Hers is so cute. I love this color. It's like a magenta pink. And on the back, there's like a little texture that's kind of meant to evoke fabric. There's bat wing handles with little heart details. This main lock on the front with this pattern. I love the little bat right there. Look at that little face, that's so cute. And this also opens up, it looks like. Same thing, extra details inside. This one is not sculpted really. So Twyla seemed to have a little bit more detail than Draculaura's, which is fine. 
and you can close it right back up. Love the purse. And then in this pouch, I also saw that there are earrings. It's kind of going out of order from how Twyla's went. Here are her earrings. It's really hard to see, but it's kind of like a silhouette of Draculaura's face. Do you see that? Like a little cameo. It's so cool. And they're just translucent. They're just truly translucent. Like not a lot of color to them, just clear plastic. But I adore these earrings. They're very, very cute. Okay, up next. Let's see. Probably most of her fun fashion pieces are in this one. Ooh, yes, the shoes. Let's just start with the shoes. These are probably my favorite between the two shoes that this doll comes with. They're like taped and in plastic. Wow, I love these. They're like strappy, they have no heel, and these little heart cutouts on them with some painted detail on the bows on the side. Yeah, these are my favorite. These are so cool. And this is what like the thing with Ultimate Secrets where I'm like, ugh, I love these shoes and I probably want more of them, but I don't like buying doubles because having an extra plastic locker is just like so much space and such a waste. So I hope they reuse this sculpt in the future. I doubt it though. It seems like Skull Ultimate Secrets pieces hardly ever get reused. They're kind of always exclusive to these dolls. So yeah, really love these. And then here is her like mesh metallic top with a little red bow. Let's see, I can't tell. It's like spider webs and some like vines on it maybe. Yeah. Very cool. Amazing top. I, I love this piece so much. I can't wait to see it styled on the doll. And then we have her like satin lace top. Hers does not have any straps. It's strapless. Very cute. Slightly like a sweetheart neckline, like just barely giving you that sweetheart neckline. It's kind of there with a full Velcro strap in the back once again. There's more. There's more. Oh yeah, this piece, you see this? Like a nice velvet skirt. The bows are kind of like asymmetrical. You know, they're not in the center, they're on the side right there. And a nice a nice little velvety plush texture. So cute. And this is also a full Velcro in the back. Amazing piece, I love the red. I love the red and pink color combo. It's so Valentine's coded and I love it. Okay, and the last pouch for Draculaura is her little heart that clips into her lever, the little bar for her hanger, and she gets some extra accessories for their little garden tea party. This is like a little cake platter with little cupcakes. And the stand is like some nice bat wing details. These are nicely painted or printed, I guess. And the one in the center has like little lips and a fang. That's very cute. This is kind of reminding me of um, Monster Ball, how Monster Ball came with lots of accessories for the Monster Ball, you know, like a chocolate fountain and like a little like drink and, you know, cupcakes. I think Cleo came with cupcakes. So it's kind of reminding me of that, but I really like these pieces. They're, they're kind of fun. Okay, that's everything. Let me put together the little lever piece and we'll reveal Draculaura. Okay, I put the lever on. We are ready to reveal the doll. She's getting stuck again. <laughs> and let's see. There she is, okay. Let's look at the face. How'd we do? I think pretty good. Okay, something unique about this Draculaura is that in generation three, this is the first front face screening that we have for Draculaura. So if she looks a little different, that is why I quite love it. I think she looks amazing. Okay, come on, focus. Yeah, I mean, no words. Gorgeous face. I love the hair color. I'm gonna take her out of this. Okay, she just kind of slides out like that and then you can uh, undo her. The really main thing that you have to undo for this doll is there's some ties in the back of the head. So I'm gonna snip those and I'll be right back. Okay, here is Draculaura out of the packaging. I moved Twyla aside because she was stealing a lot of the focus, but her socks came like mid calf, which is just like all wrong. So I'm trying to like bring them down a little bit, but they're they're really finicky but she comes looking like this she has this super cute mini dress on 
I love the pattern, love the bats, love the floral. It's very vampy, I am obsessed with it. She does come with this little plastic corset as well. Now a side effect is there's like a rubber band in the packaging, so it kind of squishes the plastic a little bit, which I don't love, but these corset pieces are really fun. I like the little paint detail that they do get, and yeah. Then there are her socks, which are actually less egregious than Twyla's. Like, they kind of look decent for now, but they're very, very like sensitive. And then here are her shoes. I love the bat wing detail, some spiderweb sculpting. The laces are painted. And then I can't tell what's going on on the sole. Like the black plastic, it's really hard to tell. There's some spiderweb details, some little cutouts on the heel. You can see it right there, the little heart cutout. And then on the bottom are the same type of like uh, silhouette cameo details that she has in her earrings. Wow, that is amazing. Yeah. That makes these shoes for me. I think these shoes are just okay. I actually think they're like the prototype shoes for, you know, there's like a prototype image that revealed for Draculaura. These are very similar to those shoes. So I do like that, but this, that detail is just amazing. Okay, that's her out of the box. I am obsessed, she's gorgeous. But before we get into her and dress her up and, you know, take a closer look, let's get Venus out so we have all three of them unboxed. Okay, here are Venus's instructions. Same old, same old, you know, we kind of already know the drill. I have the key right here. There is what we're looking for. I like her key, it's very cool. I feel like they couldn't have done Garden Mysteries without doing Venus. Plus, this is only Venus's second doll, which I'm so excited for. Funny enough that Abby's second doll was also Skultimate Secrets. Maybe when we get our next like Spectra or Caddy doll, it'll be Skultimate Secrets, who knows? Here's her first pouch. I don't even think I talked about Draculaura's design because I was just kind of zooming through, but hers was like spider webs and hearts. Venus is like nice, spiky, thorny vines in pink. Okay, here we go. We have her teacup which has like little vines coming through. See, that is like, that's a plant, you know, that's fully a plant. Whereas Draculaura's just wasn't looking plant-like. It was just kind of hearts and stuff, but very cute. Love her teacup. I like that it's consistent across all three dolls that they all come with a little teacup. She has the hangers as usual, her little lever. Hers has nice like stone texture. Okay, Rochelle Goyle win. Like, is that not giving you Rochelle? <laughs> okay, and then what else? I see something green in there. Oh. Oh! Okay. Well, there's this like little lever for the hanger, but this is like a little, uh, it's a little wand you use to dip honey so she can put honey in her tea. I love this. This is so cool. Yeah, that's random, but like I adore this little piece. It's so cute. Okay. Next, we have this pouch. Oh. Oh, I'm, I'm knocking things. Okay. We have this one another piece to the lever and oh her little doll stand clip and the best piece in here is her purse i think i don't know this is a little underwhelming compared to the others but it's still cute there's like a little corset detail right there with a little rose and then some vine details the back is just a little zipper and this also does open up and inside there's a little pouch on one side and another little pouch on the other side. So hers has as much detail as Twyla. I guess Draculaura has just had a little less detail. I don't know why, but very cute. Like it looks like she's ready for a ghoul's night out, if you will. Super sweet and adorable. Okay, next side. Y'all, where I'm working, it's like getting darker because it's becoming nighttime. So I'm sort of like racing against the clock because I have limited lighting here. So hopefully the rest of this video doesn't look terrible, but we'll see. Okay, next pouch. This is like, the fashion pouch. This is my favorite one. Okay. We have her shoes. They are very viney and strappy. Also taped, so I'm like struggling. Okay. These are cool. Wow. Okay. Very strappy, viney, like chunky heels. I love the grass detail right there. And then the bottom. It's really cool. You can see like the vines like squeezing around the the shoe is very cool and then a little bit of a pink flower detail right there i like these these are actually these are good i don't know about the color of green it's like it's very 
very bold in your face, but I mean, that is Venus, I guess. So I'm sure they're gonna look better on her, but yeah, these are fun, I adore these. Okay, next up we have Venus's meshy metallic top with gorgeous spiny vines. I like this. Hers is very easy to tell what's going on there. Like it's, it's vines. You can't mistake it, but pretty cool as well. And I like the metallic pink foiling. Okay. We have her crushed velvet skirt with two little like chartreuse yellow green bows. I love this piece. It's so good. It's amazing. Uh, adorable. One of my favorite pieces. Okay. And then I think there's one more piece in there. Yes, it's her like silky satin top with some lace details. Hers has a nice little neckline right there. And she does have some spaghetti straps as well. And then black lace trim detail. Very cool, I love it. These greens, like there's a lot of greens going on in her design. Like I wish these matched a little better, but you know, it's fine. Okay, on to the next pouch. We have, oh, look at this. This is amazing. Wow. They really did their big one with this teapot. Do you see that? And it looks like the lid comes off. Like, let me, does it? I don't want to break it. It does. Wow. There's like a little detail of like flowers and vines in there. Maybe it's meant to like stir or maybe it's like you steep it. Like it's like steeping, right? To get flavor. This amazing like the translucent pink to green is just so striking it's on like a little leaf right there yeah this is amazing i love this accessory so much sorry i'm just like gushing but it's so good it's so good okay and then we have some more this is for her little lever and then i think that's everything she has some earrings okay her earrings are like little hanging pots do you see that like that is amazing. I love these. I I love it. I love it obsessed. I'm not like a plant person. I kind of have like the opposite of whatever a green, thumb, a green thumb is, but these are very cute. I love them. I love the translucent green. Can't wait to put them on Venus. And now we can reveal the doll. Let me get that ready. Okay, I am ready. I have her little lever attached. Hers is nice. I like the stone texture. And this is already kind of like flaring up, so we shouldn't have any issues. Now let's see what Venus looks like. There she is. Yes, oh my gosh, I love the red lip on Venus. And her edges are nice little like leaves and flowers. Some braids, gorgeous, cute face. I was looking at my face and like, this is just a me thing. Like you probably don't even see it, but I feel like this little bit of inner pink right here is a little bigger than this side. It's not actually as bad on camera and it's kind of humbling because in person I'm like, is it perfect? Is it not perfect? It doesn't matter. I have her, she's gorgeous, I adore her. Okay, let's get her out of this and put her on a doll stand. Okay, Venus is free. I love her. She's kind of funny because she towers over Twyla and Draculaura and I love them as a trio. Like, I don't know, the story potential with these three is really, really fun. Now, one complaint that I'm just gonna say right off the bat is the tea ties in the back of her head were like shoved through her braids. So like, you can kind of see this braid right here is probably where they stuck the tie in and it's kind of like snagged a little bit. Um, don't love that. Don't, don't love that. Um, but I usually just take the tea ties and like push them in with, like, with my fingernail. Um, so they kind of just like sit forever in the head and just exist in that space until I take them out if I ever reroute them, which spoiler for these dolls, I do reroute them. And I'm probably gonna reroute Venus down the line. I don't know when or what plans I have for her. Her hair is fun. I do like the micro braids. I just wish it was like a head full of micro braids, um, but the color is pretty unique. It's like a green and a yellow color. And there she is with her hair a little bit more free. I love her first impressions. Love the makeup, but look at her little dress. I feel like it's so different than the others with her little neckline right there with the little like strap around the neck. Very cool. Her pattern is probably my least favorite. It's cool, but like, I don't know. I like the other ones a little bit better. They were a little bit more like dreamy and like wispy. 
Um, this one's cool though. There's like a Venus flytrap. I mean, of course it's Venus and some like of the plant details in a pink and green. There's the back of it. I think mine's pretty good. I like my placement, it's nice. And then she's wearing her little corset. It does match her bag really well. Just like first impressions. I think that's kind of fun how nice those match. And then her like stockings are the longest, which I adore. And they like look really nice compared to Twyla and Draculaura. So I'm happy about that. And then there are her shoes. I mean, you can see they don't go all the way. So her heels exposed and there's a nice little zipper. There's like some vine details with some studs on them. And then I love her shoes. They're kind of like a little cityscape. There's like vines wrapping around the city. You can see right here, it says station. It's like a subway station because she's from New York, you know? So you can see on the bottom, it says uptown and downtown, like the subway. And there's little like arrows pointing in different directions. Just a very, very fun and whimsical and like classic monster high. So yeah, I adore these. And that is Venus right out of the packaging. Now, the fun thing about Sculptum and Secrets is there is so much mix and match potential with fashion. And I will say this series way, way more so than the previous series, series four Monster Mysteries, which was like the, the pop star line that came with like the kind of like dance rehearsal second outfits. I felt like that series was very much like cut and dry. Like it seemed very obvious which accessories should be paired with which outfit. And I don't mind that, but I think sometimes the fun of School Demon Secrets is that you can style them in so many different ways. It's very, it's a very fashion focused doll line. And I think that's why I adore it so much. And I'm very excited to use in these pieces and dress the dolls up. Now I came prepared. I have an extra of all the other characters to dress in a second outfit. So I have a second Venus, a second Draculaura and a second Twyla that I'm now gonna dress up off camera and put together two cohesive outfits because I really like to, to display my Sculptimate Secret dolls wearing like a first and second outfit. You know, usually the base doll is wearing an outfit and then an extra doll is wearing the second one. This is just the standard Venus. Now for Venus, I was kind of being extra and I repainted her lips. So it's my first time, well actually this was my third time painting lips, but I think I did okay. Like the teeth were a little difficult. They're a little thicker than her usual teeth, but I wanted her to be a little different and stand out. So I'm gonna dress them up. Like I said, I'm losing some daylight here, but this is my favorite part of buying these dolls is playing with the fashion and seeing what styling mix and match potential there is. So next time you see me, you're gonna have six dolls in front of you that are fully dressed up in all of the fun fashion that we got today. Okay, quick little tip to get the shoe and the sock to look really nice is when you're putting it on, keep the sock like really low. That way when you stick it in, it's just gonna kind of squeeze it up to the perfect spot. Like you need it like perfectly low and then I'm gonna stick it in and then lift the sock up and the shoe sort of like catches a little bit of the sock. So the shoe's helping to keep the sock in place, if that makes sense. That way they look nice and snug like that. That's my, my little trick to you. Okay, I am back and I have fully styled all of my dolls here. So as you saw, you know, we came with a base doll and I added an extra doll to wear the second outfit. So we have like the base Garden Mysteries Venus and then this is an extra core Venus that I've dressed up in the second outfit. I've done that as well for Draculaura. This is an extra Creepover Draculaura who's wearing the second outfit. And same thing with Twyla, an extra Creepover Twyla. I like to display and style my school ultimate secrets with two outfits and the way i would explain my styling process is okay my fiance sometimes comes across these like tiktoks where you are styling like coming up with a fantasy of styling something right to a different theme like this is like a mermaid theme or like a medieval theme or whatever and you have like 15 points or something and you have to come up with an outfit using those 15 points but you'll get different things that are costing different points, right? Like there's a whole page of shoes and these shoes are like one point, but these shoes are like four points. And you know, you have to be very intentional with how you divvy up your points to come up with the best outfit. I don't know, he likes those types of TikToks. That's kind of how I style where I'm like, oh, I really like these shoes and I really like these tops, but I wanna like disperse the goodness amongst the dolls, right? Like. Uh, not obviously, but you can style these dolls where you're putting like all the best pieces on them all at once, right? Like they have the mesh top with 
the mesh sleeves with like the corset with the this with the that and like picking out the best of the best i guess but for me i like to kind of disperse the goodness amongst all my dolls where they feel like two really strong cohesive outfits where they both have nice points of interest and they're not like one's not clearly the dominant look and one's not clearly the weaker look that's the best way i can describe my process and then for me as well i work very symmetrically like i styled my dolls in a very symmetric manner where draculaura venus and twyla are all sort of wearing the same things amongst each other like the base dolls for Garden Mysteries are all styled the same, right? They all have the base dress with the metallic foil long sleeve shirt with the second pair of shoes carrying like the teacups and like, you know, they're thematically all wearing the same pieces. Same thing with my second outfit dolls. They're all wearing like the crushed velvet skirts with the silk lace top with the corset piece with the first outfit shoes and socks or tights in this case. And then they all have the purse. Like that's how I've divvied up the fashion accessories. Now, of course, the whole point of these dolls is that you get to decide for yourself how you want to style and dress them. Here, I'm just showing you what I decided today, but in the future, I can definitely switch and swap these pieces as I please. That's the fun part of this series, in my opinion, is the mix and match styling potential. I love what I came up with today. I think it's really fun. I think one thing is like for Twyla, I gave her a pair of like Draculaura's like socks her little frilly socks from her core doll and i really love it i think i would like to give this draculaura something like that as well to sort of balance out the color story happening here other than that i really really love how i styled all of these dolls one more thing is i have this playset table from like the bite in the park draculaura sorry i'm filming on like an uneven surface like it's like this carved chest i'm at my in-laws house so like i'm making do okay but um yeah, ideally, you know, you can like maybe display these really big, chunky, iconic pieces that they all came with like together, right? I'm sure you can also find a way for the characters to hold these pieces as well. But for now, I kind of kept them separate as much as I adore these pieces. You know, they're a little bit chunky and clunky. So I just want to mention them because I love them. But like, you know, ideally in a scenario, you can set them aside and have them be part of your storytelling world building experience with these dolls like they're really cool pieces but for now i'm gonna set them aside okay now i'm gonna close out the video and go in a little bit more in depth towards the base doll show up their makeup and their hair so starting off with venus in the center here's her screening she has nice red lips and I really love them. I wish they were a little bit more like burgundy toned. They're still really pretty. And then she has this really nice makeup as you can see. Like I love the, what is that? Like floral detail. It almost looks like a little flower makeup right there. There's some red eyeshadows, some greens. Really, really pretty. I always love Venus's screening and I particularly love her brown eyes and I love her little eye shines are like a little vine and leaf right there. It's really cute. I wish my um paint details for her like cornrows on the side were a little bit better. Like the paint right here is not great. I mean, I can fix it up myself, but it's not ideal. And then unfortunately, I've not mentioned this yet, um, but all of these base dolls have polypropylene hair which is probably the main thing that drags this line down, unfortunately. Polypropylene is just, you know, a little bit more low quality hair fiber compared to Saran that Monster High usually uses. And this pink and green is poly. And then she does have these really cool braids as well. The braids are multicolored. They're like a yellow and green braid. So I don't know, I like Venus's hair. I love the colors, pink and green. I think are just always so good. I just wish this was a higher quality hair fiber. I know a lot of people are also upset that like, you know, we kind of lost that really nice hair texture that Venus's first doll came with. We have that a little bit here with the micro braids. I just, I don't know. It's a little bit of a downgrade from her first doll, but overall, now that I like have the doll and I'm looking at the doll, it looks good. And I will say straight polypropylene is a lot easier to tame than curly polypropylene. So I would say of the three, Venus's hair is like the easiest to maintain. Like out of the box, I think it looks the best compared to like Twyla and Draculaura back there, whose hair is like a mess. But yeah, Venus's hair is pretty easy and I think it looks good. I, I really like it. And this is how I styled this Venus right here. I love this undershirt with this dress. It's really, really cute. 
and she's carrying the little teacup and the little honey wand and then she has on these shoes overall I love her. She's so tall too. She like towers over Dracula and Twyla, which I think is so funny, but I kind of like this dress better without the corset because you can see a lot more of the detail with the print. Like I prefer this print without the corset sort of like bogging it up a little bit. So yes, love her, love her, love her. And then let me show you the second outfit I did for Venus real quick as well. I don't know. I kind of prefer this outfit overall. And I will say some styling tips is on Instagram, once again, Annalise mentioned that these like velvet skirts are meant to be a little bit more low-waisted. So they're sort of hugging like just where her like underwear line is, I guess her panty line, if you will. And I prefer that fitting a lot, but I will say to get that fitting like low-waisted, you sometimes have to be very, very, um, how do I say this, like intentional with how you place the elastic. Like, it's gonna be a little stretched out. Like, oh, sorry, her purse fell. You see that? Like, the elastic is not fully covered. Like, it's a little stretched out right there. Uh, I don't know if I have a better way to describe it, but, you know, it's not fully covered. And I think when you dress your dolls, you have a mindset of like, oh, it needs to be fully closed, covering all of the Velcro, or else it's not fitted right. But like, I think with these dolls, you kind of have to break out of that mindset to style them how you want them to look because I like this fitted style. Like the skirt is very tight, the top is very tight, the corset looks good, but styling it like this was a lot of effort to, I don't know, put it on the doll. It wasn't, it wasn't easy, I should say. So if you are styling these dolls, in particular these two pieces, just be very intentional with how you choose to close the Velcro to get a fit that looks, I think, as nice as this does, okay? Um, that's, just, that's just my two cents for this because, you know, I'm glad that Annalise mentioned that on Instagram because I don't know if I would have styled her as nicely as I did today if I didn't have a little bit of that extra insight, right? And there she is with the shoes. I think she looks great. The purse, everything. I love her and the little bit of the the darker lip that it gave her so yeah top tier i am so happy that we're getting more venus dolls i'm already greedy and i'm like more 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 please more vita she's so gorgeous okay next we'll do twyla so here is twyla's base doll i think my favorite screening of the three like this face i have no words i love the color of lipstick that they chose and then with the eye makeup it's probably a lot more simple compared to Venus and maybe even Draculaura, but I don't know, it's so refined and just beautiful. The little butterfly, the little like petal details for her eyeshadow, and her eyes pop here against the purple. Beautiful. I love her little eye shine as a button. I um, was telling my partner, I was like, yeah, you know, like all the characters have different eye shines that are like thematic. And he's like, well, why does Twyla have buttons? And I was like, um, you can find buttons under the bed. I don't know. I mean, it's very Coraline coded, but honestly, I don't know why they're buttons, but they're cute, so I don't question it. And her brows look gorgeous. And then same deal here. She has polypropylene hair. It is this nice purple with some teal streaks throughout. It actually looks gorgeous. Like, I will say, like, it's so hard to hate on polypropylene hair because the color is vivid and gorgeous. And like, in some instances, I know they're like, oh, we choose, we use polypropylene because we want specific colors. And I'm like, okay, sure. But in these instances, like I do get it because the hair does pop. I would say Draculaura makes the most sense because I don't really see these colors often in Saran, but yeah, the color's nice. The quality is just not great, unfortunately. And she does have pigtails. So she does have a middle part throughout the back. It's kind of awkward because it's like a side part that sort of like changes to a middle part. So like kind of interesting um, the way her part line works, but yeah, it's polypropylene. So it's a little more coarse and stiff and yeah, not, not my favorite, but I am just still obsessed with this doll. So for now, I will forgive it. Also, if you've been on my channel, you know, I usually reroute these dolls anyways. So in the distant future, I'll probably reroute all of these dolls and like the hair won't be an issue. That's a very unique thing to me. I know the average person fan of these dolls is probably not going to reroot. So I kind of want to judge them from that lens. You know what I mean? Of just like, this is the doll. This is the doll that you're probably going to end up with in your collection. And I just wish the hair was nicer, but the face gorgeous. Love these earrings. And then this is how I styled Twyla. Once again, without the corset, I just love this dress so much more. 
her little teacup and her little cookie is so cute. I wish there was some frosting on it. Like maybe I'll paint some frosting. And then there are her boots with these extra little like socks that I gave her. She does not come with these. I added these. These are from Draculaura's Cordal. Honestly, I should probably take them off because it covers her wisps up, but I think it looks good. And I really love these shoes. Um, I love this color. It's very, very nice and striking. So there she is head to toe. Really love her. Probably my favorite. And I'm gonna be honest, I thought Dracula was gonna be, gonna be my favorite, but like early thoughts, I'm thinking Twyla is. Sorry. Okay, here's Twyla, the other outfit. This is a creep over Twyla and I put her hair in like a ponytail and I added a little rivet, it's so cute. Um, but there's her second outfit and same thing as Venus. I was very, very intentional with styling it to be very fitted and to look this way. And I really love this look. I love this skirt, love the purse. It's just really, really cute. Um, something about this outfit doesn't really feel like Twyla, um, but I don't know, It's I still really like it. I still really, really, really like it. The color scheme for Twyla as well, these purples and teals are so rich and like luxe here. And I love the different textiles with this like softer velvet with this shiny satin and the lace. Like I will say that's where this collection of dolls really shines is the different textures that they managed to capture in like a $30 doll. So as much as I complain about the hair, the fashion for me is what draws me in, like the designs, the fashion, the concepts, it's just so strong. I mean, look at that purse too. So cute, I love that purse. And then there are her socks. I showed you that trick earlier. This is how you get them to stay and look nice. Okay, it's difficult, but it's possible. Okay, I see a lot of people post photos and the socks look rough. Okay, I know it's less than ideal that they're not a full sock, but like if you are strategic, you can still get them to look good. So that's my advice. And there are her shoes, really cute as well. I don't know if they match the vibe of the rest of the outfit, to be honest, but overall, I still really like this outfit as well. Really, really cute from Twyla. Overall, these two, chef's kiss, stunning. Okay, lastly, let's take a look at Draculaura. Okay, lastly with Draculaura, I love her. This is such a unique Draculaura, and I know people are sort of like Draculaured out because she's in like every line. I think Monster High knows that she's such a fan favorite and so beloved that it's so easy to just include her in every line because she'll probably be like a doll that sells well, right? Like if they're nervous about Venus or Twyla selling well, they're probably like, just throw in Draculaura. Like she's gonna do well no matter what. So I get it. And honestly, this Draculaura feels so unique from any other Draculaura that we've seen in G3, in the hair color especially, but also in the screening. The screening is beautiful. In particular, one thing that I think is really nice is this kind of cool toned gray that she has on her eye makeup. It's a very unique choice that you don't see often and I think it works really well here. I also love her makeup. It's like this rose with falling petals. I mean, beautiful, beautiful. I love creative makeup like this and it's asymmetrical. This one, because this is the side that has her little heart mark, it also has this little swoosh right there and the rose looks a little different as well. So beautiful, love this lip. This lip color is kind of what I wanted from Venus, just a little bit deeper and darker, um, but here it works really well. Her earrings are so cute. I love the little bit of clear plastic there. And then once again, I'm like a broken record, but this combo with the dress and mesh shirt, I just think works a little bit better without the corset. I can see more of the print here and appreciate the pattern, so just prefer that. And then she's got the little teacup, but these I think are Twyla's tongs. Dracula didn't come with like a second accessory to hold, so I just gave her Twyla's tongs. And then I love these shoes. I don't know if I love them in the context of this outfit. The balance just feels a little off because this is a very light pink and this is all kind of like heavy and dark colors. So something about her just feels a little off, but I still just love these shoes. They're beautiful and so fun and a little bit of red so i guess it, it ties in you know a little bit and then taking a look at the creep over draculaura okay also i'm kind of being <laughs> annoying but i styled um these dolls with the same hairstyle just so you can kind of see the difference between polypropylene on the left and saran on the right i mean yeah i just prefer the Saran personally and uh, she looks cute in this style. I really like it. Okay, now let me show you her outfit without knocking over everything. These earrings are not hers. These are from an OMG doll, but they're all I had. So that's what she's getting today. Now, 
I feel like because she doesn't have like a necklace or like a spaghetti strap, her top half looks a little barren. I don't mind it, um, but I really like her combo with the little top skirt and corset beautiful colors i love this like symphony of reds and pinks it looks so good on draculaura the purse as well gorgeous purse and then same thing as twyla i managed to get the socks to style and display very nicely because i was very intentional with how i put them on her try that give it a try and you will get it to look good okay i know once again it sucks that they're not full socks but you can still style them if you are crafty and strategic okay and overall, I kind of like this outfit more, to be honest. I just think she needs like a long sleeve or something. And that's what I'm saying. Like, I could have easily given her the metallic long sleeve, right? And it would have probably been better. But I want the both of the looks to feel balanced as far as like the pieces that they have. Where one doesn't sort of outshine or outweigh the other. Um, that's just me. That's just me. You don't have to copy me. You can do whatever you want as far as styling these dolls. That's how I chose to go about it. But that is all of Skultimate Secrets Series 5 Garden Mysteries. My overall closing thoughts. I adore them. I adore them. As much as I don't like polypropylene hair, and I'll repeat myself again and again and again that I hate poly hair, the dolls are so fun. Like these six dolls, well, three dolls, six outfits, I adore. I think for me, my favorite is Twyla. Surprisingly, I, I don't know how. And I think these two are very strong as well. But I think Twyla's screening and fashion is just stunning. It's beautiful. And I'm also so happy that we have a second Venus doll. I love seeing these new characters get new dolls. So I can't wait to get more Venus, more Abby in the future. I can't wait to see a second doll for Spectra, for Caddy. Hopefully, Meality and Persephone too, right? Come on, I want to see second dolls third dolls, fourth dolls of all of these beloved characters. As much as I love Draculaura and Claudine and Frankie and all of the core five, like I like seeing other characters get dolls as well. So if you want more characters like Venus, go out and buy this doll to, you know, put your money where your mouth is and show that we want to see these characters get more dolls in the future. That's my two cents there. But overall, I'm a very happy camper. I had so much fun today making this video, dressing up my dolls. This is my happy place. This is what I love. I love Monster High dolls. At the end of the day, Playland Monster High, for me, just eats every time, okay? G3 is so good. And if you're a G3 hater out there, maybe this is the series where you come to the light because it is so nice and like this is such a vampy moody sort of like nice halloween themed line too i know it's like garden themed but um after annalise said that these were like 90s styled fittings and outfits they remind me of like a tattoo you know tattoo with the song that's like all oh, the things she said all oh, the things she said i don't know if i should sing it because i don't know if that's gonna like copyright strike me but it gives me like tattoo vibes like 90s moody like the craft like i love this fashion and it's so good and it's very very fun pieces i don't think there's like any weak pieces normally i'm like eh, i don't love that or i don't love this piece i think everything here is pretty strong down to like the plastic food accessories even it makes sense like it's a garden tea party this is what i feel like they were trying to capture with lenore a little bit maybe maybe if you have lenore Lumington, she would fit right in with these dolls so that is all i have to share with you today thank you so much for watching let me know down in the comments below if you plan on picking up these new monster high dolls and let me know which one is your favorite between twyla venus or draculaura all answers are valid because i think all three are gorgeous i don't think there's a clear winner here i literally think all three are stunning, gorgeous dolls that are worthy of being added to your collection. They're surely worthy of being added to mine, and I'm so happy that I have them. And that is all I have time for today. Thank you so much for hanging out and watching my channel. My name is Eli, and this is my channel, Draculija, where I post lots and lots of doll content, especially Monster High. So if you like Monster High, I recommend to like and subscribe and stick around for future videos. And that is all I have for today. Thank you so much. I'll catch you in the next one. Okay, bye-bye.